predicting that Ix is going to win the tournament. He might do it. He, he very well could. We've got the first game of the UK or England versus Germany. It's going to be Wills versus Schliger. Uh, so from what I can tell, I always hear Mewtwo's talk about how Cloud is actually a really hard matchup for them. He's got that yes. huge hurt box. He's very easy to juggle because even though he's got that incredibly good air dodge, it's not hard to just track him when he's landing and, and reset the situation. But by the same token, as soon as Mewtwo gets a down tilt or a neutral air, it's go time, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. start the combos, let's start the fun. Cloud is a beautiful way for it. And he, because of the way that Mewtwo's hurt box shifts when he does stuff like down tilt, you can't really just spam up air to get out of disadvantage because yeah, yeah, it's not yeah, going to yeah. hit him. It's interesting as well, especially because you can get that down tilt forward there, get it, uh, Wills off stage. You can do things like drag down there, you can turn shark forward there, so you can do a lot of stuff as Mewtwo off stage as well. So even though as a matchup, this isn't great for Mewtwo, he's definitely got a couple of tools here and there to do something about it. Go to the cross slice, try and break his shield or something. Trying to catch a roll in maybe. I like Schlicker, Schlicker recognizing. Oh! oh! Well, he did okay. recognize that down air coming out right above him. God but he did damn. recognize the frame advantage of the limit cross slash and shield. He did try and punish it. Just stayed in place. You can see Wills go for a preemptive up smash, hoping for him to approach. And but, a, uh, a top 10 disgusting dunk there from Will. Yeah. You really have absolutely. to say. And I, got, I, I hope you all twitch clip that. Hope you're all Please. odd twitching it right now. Please do. Okay, let's see what Schlicker can actually do here. Gets the pivot. Okay, goes for the back throw. With full Shadow Ball here. Will's just happy to shield it, but he just gets clawed. Shadow slapped. Shadow slapped. <laughs> he gets clawed. Gone. Like the uh, like the aliens in Toy Story. Exactly. Just oh, imagine the Will's claw, looking dude. at me in the claw. And then the claw. Schlicker just kills him. Yeah. Then the aliens Bottom just the die. Alien. Will's looking like an alien right now. Because his play is pretty out of this world. But the core well. is definitely coming after him. Oh, no. Schlicker Mewtwo. trying to send him back to Pizza Planet. This is... I can't keep up with that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep up with that. You say. I'm on my Toy Story hype. It's Jesus. the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. You know? Okay, sure, sure, sure. I see it. Okay, Schlicker with that forward, eh? Okay, I love the choice of going for that side beat to just shift his momentum back onto the platform. Yeah, and I really like Schlicker's positioning for pressure. You can see when he had him fire out of the smash all platform chose to go high and put his back to him so he could try and continue yeah. the pressure with a back air. But Wills right now, speaking of pressure, is he going to go yeah. for it again? Okay, Schlicker finds the option around it this time, goes for a down tilt. Huge range down tilt, it can pretty much compete with anything out Hold of shield. Down. Oh, oh he not quite. Gets it. Looks for the footstool disabled. And, that's a good, and then he recovers above the really legend, good. doesn't even die to the dash attack punish. Okay, he's got limit now, but he's probably going to have to use it. Oh, no, okay, he's recovering high. And Schlicker happy to give him that stage. Okay, okay, doesn't go for that cross slash this time, realizing that Schlicker happy to hold shield. He just goes to the grab, he's got him in the air. That air dodge is scary, that up throw is going to not take it though. Noticing a lot of Tomahawk grabs, nice up air there from Will. Wow, a lot uh, of a taunt, wow, I yeah. hope he doesn't get... Will's, he doesn't Will's get is pulling off a lot, <laughs> I hope he doesn't get body. I hope he <laughs> sorry. Well, you know what they say, apparently if you taunt, you can expect very shortly after to in fact get bodied. Is that up. right? So I think your assessment is completely off. Oh no. But yeah, Wills are getting a lot of Tomahawk grabs, like a lot. And they're working out because obviously Cloud has such good pressure with his aerials. I'm beginning oh, to become God. convinced that Will can't grab anything in real life without jumping at it first. That's fair. Gets up thrown off the stage. And there you go, down to one stock. Probably the most even game one we've seen of a crew battle so far, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta say, man. Like both of these players are playing pretty damn well so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the play from both. I'm actually I think Wills is definitely playing like well by his standards. Okay. He's playing Wells. He's playing Will. Oh god, he could be dead. He could just be dead. And these air dodges. What? What? That was very win. strange. And you know what? I'm not even surprised. It, not yeah, even surprised. sometimes he plays really well and just does stuff like that. And I don't and get it. He just, yeah. Like he 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 had a jump, but he just chose to like air dodge like three times in a row. And then not even jump before up being? I don't know, dude. I guess he was expecting maybe a down air to maybe mess him up. But even then, he was dead if he gets hit by that. Yeah. He might have got staged by, by it, which I don't know. Maybe well, he was really expecting a slight gust of wind to assist him in his recovery. Yeah, that's fair. And it did not come through. But it looks like we are going to be sending me a favor? in. And, and give, is there any water over there? There is, could yes. I, could I, could yeah, I sorry, guys. We had a long day of, of uh, my, uh, commentating and TOing and screaming actually. when our boys are making upsets and all this other stuff. I went Thank to uh, commentating, to TOing, to commentating, and then I commentated uh, again for a little bit of cover for Ramsey, who was playing doubles, and now we're here doing this. And I Lots just of wanna, commentary. Yeah, I just want to go back home when I can and sleep. 
but this crew battle bracket is keeping me awake right now. And okay, we got the Afro Smash, Alan Gardner. Yeah, one of my favorite players to watch uh, for, for sure, like in Europe. Uh, he's, he's great. I he's love great. like innovators of their characters, you know, and this guy really did craft a lot of the meta. You wouldn't think it by looking at his Twitter. No. I'm watching him act like an eight-year-old on RuneScape. But yeah, like, he, a, he really is a smart guy. Trust me, I, I promise. <laughs> he tries to be. Yeah, just ignore the Twitter. Seriously, just please. Please. Ignore the Twitter. <laughs> We're not all like that. <laughs> oh, when his tag is toes. No, I, I know I where this comes from. This. I disagree with this. I hate this, actually. I see the Twitter interactions every time, and it makes me upset. Well, let's see if uh, Afro can go ahead and try and suck the life out of this crew battle against Schligger and take these two stocks without getting hit too much. I have nothing to add on to that. I'm not adding on anything to that. Okay, I feel like Afro can definitely just take this stock without too much too much hassle. Yeah, I, I've never really seen Afro versus a high-level Mewtwo before, so I'm really interested in seeing how the matchup plays out because when I think about it in my mind, I just think about Samus kind of getting nerd. Uh, she has a, a decently large hurt box. Yep, certainly, yep, yep. And certainly not like she really has any threatening hitboxes in front of her at like a 45 degree angle. So I'm just kind of like, what's to stop Mewtwo from just running in and nairing her all day, right? Yeah. Oh, yep, they're yep. both charging up. I like it. Very I cool. It. I You're both it. very cool. Congratulations. You're both very good. You both have ball. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of ball there though from Mewtwo. And you're hoping for the England team's sake that Afro can take this without actually losing a stock. Yeah, you're hoping that England can, can actually win a game that relates to playing like with the balls because considering what happened with the, at the World Cup, you know. We did maybe fine, we got to the semis. We got we to the semis, fine. that's fine. We're in the semis now. So if we can get past the semis, then maybe, maybe, just maybe. Smash is coming home. Yeah, maybe the Smash UK England crew are better at football. Than, than the England team. Wayne Rooney. Wayne yes. Rooney didn't even play. That's fine. I reckon Wayne Rooney's really bad at Smash. I, I reckon he's, he's really I reckon he's like that casual friend who plays Kirby. He's like, yeah, I he beat He down beats a lot. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I beat all my friends all the time. He just presses down B over and over again. And that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, Wayne Rooney. You've got priorities. So okay. These guys are playing Smash Bros. Afro. Oh, that Zare was a little bit off there. They are just able to go in and get the oh grab. God, what is dead. going on with some of these SDs today? He should have died. He should have died. Yeah, people are just letting go of the ledge and just not jumping. They're just not doing anything. Yeah, about they're it. just falling off. They're like that guy from E3. Do you remember that guy at the E3 invitation? Oh my God, with the bike. <laughs> like, that was actually perfect. What is his name? Morgan. He like everyone else is oh, playing. Oh, Nice stuff by Afro. Everyone else is playing in like a free fall. There's this one guy called Morgan who's playing Pac-Man. And he literally just walked all the way across the stage, off stage, and just died. It, like, didn't even jump. Oh, dear did God. nothing. <laughs> Shout out to Morgan. Intelligent player from Morgan, to be fair. Yeah. He realized this isn't the game for him. He's like, I'm playing Pac-Man. What's the point? They sat up with Pac-Man at the Invitational at, at E3. That's fine. Uh, we got your man's... Who's this? Quick. I Is believe quick? that's Yeah, quick. that's quick. So we're going to get a Samus versus Samus match. Yes. Only one with a, a mirror with no match, suit. if you will. But just kidding, this Samus is naked. So it's, without suit. So it's a mirror match, but it's before and after she took the suit off, looking in the mirror. Looking in the mirror, what do you see? There is no more suit on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tom. Michael Jackson, eat your heart out. <laughs> we got these two men in the mirror. About to go out of the crew battle. Stocks mirrored. Stocks mirrored. So let's see who can take the oh lead here in this Quick England versus okay. Germany crew battle. Quick, please do not destroy the monitors. <laughs> he was doing some kind of it's like crazy interrogating the TV. I don't know what was happening there, but we are going on town and city. This is, um, I don't think I've seen this matchup before. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think I've seen this well, matchup um, before. When Afro went over to the United States for Genesis. He played against Nick Riddle. Four, I believe. He, yeah. yeah, he actually uh, got a win over Nick Riddle. I who was at the time that, yeah. a pretty highly regarded 0 since 7 player from Florida. So he definitely knows exactly what he's doing in this matchup. 
thing is, Zero, ZSS can put so much pressure on your shield, and Sabas has got such a horrendous roll yep. that let's say ZSS does, does like a back air to turn around jab on your shield. You kind of got a roll, and Quick's gonna know that because Quick actually secondary Samus himself. Oh really? Uh, yeah, he plays a, a bit of Samus himself, and he's you know, he can probably be like, oh, I can grab this roll, right? Or I can I can do whatever I want really because Samus's roll, you can actually react to it. It's that slow. Yeah, it's a very very poor roll. And you've just got to wonder for Afro, like how he's gonna get himself out of that disadvantage. That's not gonna kill. He's not going to be able to capitalize on that, unfortunately. Yeah, it's like every single time that ZSS hits his shield, he actually just needs to pick a defensive option. Until, like Hyper said, when Screw Attack starts killing. I mean, maybe he can Screw Attack a couple times in mid-game, but he needs to be careful that ZSS doesn't land before him and then and then scoop him up for a punish. Okay, the jab out shield, That's but there you go. go. Yeah. Uh, ZSS is going to win that kind of exchange every single time. Exactly. It, because Afro has such a poor kind of... Not the greatest out shield game with Samus, obviously. Like, the amount of pressure that... The quick can really apply to the shield. It's going to be really, really poor yeah. for him. So we'll be able to see if he's going to be able to bring this back. Smart. Again, not too far down. Smart by Afro to not air dodge out that ZSS up tilt, recognizing there's no true combos out of ZSS up tilt. There's never any reason to air dodge. I think he's going to need to do a lot more of those uh, jump in, like falling up airs, where he kind of up airs into the opponent and gets a conversion, maybe a forward smash, maybe a screw attack or something like that. Because like ZSS, ZSS is actually like, Strangely easy to approach, I feel, outside of Zare. Outside of Zare, she doesn't really have any threatening hitboxes immediately oh, in front of her. This is death. What a sick That's pickup death. from Quick. That's death. That was so good. That's death, dude. Wow. That, he really just kind of snuck in there and took it. I really like that from Quick. And just like that, he's taken two stocks from Afro. Afro's going to need to pull this together quick. If he can get two stocks, then he's done his job. Okay, he's got his one. That's There's fine. The That's fine. To cover the jump. And but that stock in itself is actually really, really big because now you've just got rid of Rage from Samus. Uh, you from have. Zero, so you should say, and that could have definitely just turned into a three stock if he wasn't careful. Yeah, but as soon as he gets back into that specific percent margin, around 50 to 60, 70 percent, uh, the up airs become a lot scarier all over again. Okay, good. Offensive, yeah, because that was just jab, so you could have to out of shield there. Yep. Okay, gets Double a nair. lot of nairs into the dash attack. Afro not trying to overexpose himself, not trying to go too crazy. So that ZSS actually did a whiff grab and didn't actually try and punish it, but rather just charged up his ball. Okay. Landing onto the platform. Let's see what Quick can do. I mean, ZSS with that frame one jab. Oh my god, that pressure is insanity. Yeah. Real quick. I think it's only her and Mac in the game who have three one jabs. Yep. And it's like Mac, it kind of makes sense, son. You say it doesn't make sense for ZSS. Um, I mean, I'm sure she's a quick lady. That genuinely would not meant to be a pun, but I'll well, take it. Well. Just like you know, Mac definitely needs it. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Quick, just barely not getting that down smash at the ledge. Afro really desperate to get some kind of maybe a shield break set up. He's put quite a lot of shield pressure on. He's is got he that charge shot in tow as well. Just wondering when he's going to pull the trigger. He's going to need to. He's at high percent. He, he might not have a lot of time left in this game. The roll get up. Barely managed to draw. He could have got caught in that roll with the down smash there. So kind of got lucky with the timing. Or he really timed it well. He's really trying to get some kind of confirm into this charge shot. Because he knows if he misses it, then he's really, really put his back up against the wall. And that's going to be the start. That's the boost kick like that. Really solid from quick. Yeah, that was... That was um, that was pretty confident play. Yeah. Like, there's nothing you can really do to fall down. And you know, I might be wrong, but I think this might actually be Quick's first Albion. He definitely wasn't here last year. And I, Are I you don't. Sure? He I definitely was not la here last year. And uh, I'm pretty sure that he wasn't for Albion, Albion one. 1. Yeah. So, yeah, like, for all the kind of like top European players who are a bit sad, like, didn't make it, this is Quick, who we've never had at an Albion before. Yeah, that's true. He's, I think, the fourth seed for the event. Fifth seed. He was fifth seed at the event. Is that right? Uh, justifiably so. Top 10 on the AS ESR. Yep. But now they are sending in Kibzu, number 25 on the ESR. And Kibzu's kind of like a, a counter pick. Like you can you can kind of tell Kibzu to go whatever character he wants and set him in and use that as a counter pick. There's not really any character that's going to hard counter pick ZSS. Yep. There's no matchup that isn't winnable for ZSS. So I'll be interested who he goes. I'd expect to see the Bayo. I can see the Bayo of the Sheik, but I'm, I'm leaning more towards the Bayo. He means, obviously, trifecta of power, Sheik, Bayo, Cloud. Very, yeah. very strong set of characters to main. It's the Smash Raw version of the Triforce. Having the actual Triforce. It is actually. Triforce of power with Bayo. 
Triforce of Wisdom with Sheik, because you, you still got to think when you use that character. It's Cloud And the courage. Triforce of Courage, because sometimes you just got to do up air to finish the touch at 30. And sometimes And because being off stage is quite scary. That's, you know what? And because Cloud looks more like Link than the other two characters. Yeah, I can see that. And Sheik is Zelda, so yeah, of course. And Bayo and Ganon are basically I'm sure they'd get along. The I'm sure they'd share a pint. Probably, you know. We are seeing the Bayo, yeah, that's fair. Okay, so... 11 stocks to 9. This should be alright. Yeah, he's going to need to clean this up pretty well. Um, we don't actually really have a ZSS in the UK. We, no, we really not don't. Really. So, uh, Pop-Tart actually did use her for quite a while. and was doing pretty well with her. But, um, you know, now now focusing solely on the Martha and Lucina. So you do have to wonder, to who, are, who are the, the ZSSs of the UK? You've got people like, I mean, Maggie's picked up ZSS. Yep. You've got There's uh, Samus in the Midlands who... Uh, Nabster. Occasionally shows up. Nabster, my best friend Your in best the world. Friend, Nabster. I hope you're watching. I love you. And that's, that's kind of it. That's kind of it. That really is kind of it. So Kipsu, um, going with the Witch Twist and going with the ABK and then uh, quick air dodges out of it. But because Witch Twist is frame for it, it's so fast. He actually managed to land and catch him in his little bit of air dodge like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, which twist to reset the situation yet again. Just a testament yeah. to the strength of this character. And Quick doing really, really well to get out of these bail combos so far. Oh my god, okay. Oh no, I like that could have it. definitely been it. Okay. Not the greatest witch, uh, witch time there from Kibzu. Yeah, he actually just used oh, a lot one. of resources quite necessarily, but, but good this, witch oh, time there. God. And I think he tried to mix them up a little bit there. Yep. Oh, yo, the speed on Quick. Yeah, it's the first Tether Trump back air we've seen all day from Quick so far. And I like it. Why not Why not pull it out and cruise, man? Yes, There's I something on the line, I'm there sure. There, into grab. 90% there on the board, and this is looking kind of scary for your man's Kibzu right now. Oh, yikes. Oh, oh back within comes in through. Like, yeah, I'm not, allowed to, I'm not about to let you get completely exposed like yeah. this, but, like, that's definitely looking bad, and Quick is... Actually, all over Kibzu right yeah. now. I'm kind of surprised that Kibzu didn't go for some kind of ladder. Maybe he's yeah. based on the position that he was in, but he only went for that back air to punish. Okay, he's got him in the air. Went for up throw into up okay. air. Apparently works. Just another back air. Okay, Quick is definitely running over you guys right now. The down smash, the cross up forward air on shield. That forward air is such a tricky move to deal with out of shield for any character. Maybe there's ESS up tilt. Oh, very good read on the flip kick back to stage from Kibsu there. Yep. That is like a, you know, it's one of those kind of like character enforced habits when a player plays a character, they kind of develop habits with that character. Like a bit like the Mewtwo air dodge habit. A lot of ESS character players do kind of uh, use the flip kick to get back to stage a little bit too much. So it's same and with Diddy and stuff as well. Yeah, and monkey then, flips. And you've really got to be wise as someone who's going against those characters to make sure that you do catch those out. Or oh, catches okay. the tether who's looking for a fair train off the side. Yeah, all of a sudden, momentum's definitely looking in Kibzu's favor. If he can take this stock, he will have cleaned it up a decent amount, but unfortunately he loses it to that quick back air. Well, quick looking for his sixth stock now. Or will it even be more than that? Because I think he came in before Afro, didn't he? Who, Kibzu? No, Quick. Quick. I think Quick... Well, either way, Quick's, Quick's really, really doing work for the German team right now. If he takes out Kipsu, we'll be down to only Peli and Pop Tart. Two very, very solid players. But obviously, Germany have got a ton of solid players. They've got Sive left. They've got Sive, Longal, Light. Yeah. All three still way in the back. Quick, regardless, trying to get into this. Guess that grab and this could Ooh, be light scary out. rage off the top and, that's and he gets gonna be oh, it. wow gives you getting laddered as bayonetta somewhat poetic to some i still consider it disgusting but yeah england looking a little bit lost right now to your man's quick what else can you say man after the uh maybe the world cup was just a bad omen it was uh croatia then Germany, Germany now get out of pause dude yeah, they they needed this more than we did, to be honest. They did. I think they, maybe they needed this. Yeah, you know what? I'm, maybe I'm we're doing them a favor. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're throwing. Our, our best player isn't even on the crew. You know? We didn't even put Muck Duck on. Thank Sorry. you, Brad. I appreciate okay. that. I did go 0-2 though today, so don't. Well, 
it's Smash 4. Every, every player has their well, bad days. Well. You know, I'm sure Exus has gone 0 a few times. I don't think he's gone 0 once. Uh, I bet he has. I'm pretty sure he went 0 at that meltdown that I won. The one where I beat Nairo. Right. Who who you, who who was Nairo playing? Uh, ZSS. I was playing me Brawler. Right. Without any of the customs. And I uh, killed him at 30 with a perfect pivot shot put. Nice. Yeah. I didn't even pop off. He popped off for me. Yeah. He was like, damn, I I've never played a player like you before. And he was like, and I was like, no one has. No one else, mate, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know who we're setting up next. It looks like it's going to be Pop Tart. Uh, a former ZSS player in his own right. So, should have a, a decent amount of matchup experience. So we're probably going to see the Lucina. Yep, yeah, this is cool. Uh, I can't imagine Pop Tart has gone against too many ZSSs except for like Mega Mark. Mega Mark is actually solid. Yeah, I, I think Mega well, Mark is yeah, quite amazing. Right? I, th I think he'll get there. He might have played at like the lab. Possibly, he's gone to a lab or two in his in his time. Yeah. But Maybe I don't know, man. You said you said Pop Tart definitely had like a ZSS for a little bit, so. Yeah. We'll see how he does. Thing is, Pop Tart is such a. Um, kind of nickel and dime kind of player. He never really does the kind of big soul crushing, soul reads. Never really makes the top 10 you know, soul crushing. Yeah, if you don't mind me taking some copyrighted Wooksy 15 material, he never really goes to the big, big plays. plays yep. So um, he's really just going to need to like, like we're not, we, we can't expect that kind of thing from Pop Tart. So we just have to hope that he's really playing like a heightened level Solid. right now. Yeah. And I mean, it's looking like it. He's actually really taking it to quick right now. Gets a dancing blade. 81%, man. People do not talk about Martha Lucina's damage output quite enough. Yeah. These characters, especially with their Dancing Blade, I I dread to think what the faster Dancing Blade in Ultimate is going to feel I mean, like. Yeah, okay. Wow. Could've definitely been lights out there for your man's pop toy. Oh, no. Okay. Wasn't at the right angle to go for it. Quick, definitely getting himself back into the game. A game in which pop toy looked like he was solidly going to take the stock without any kind of worries. Oh, and he goes to the shield breaker. Yeah, I love it. Okay, I like it. Waste yeah. out the air dodge. I love the positioning from Pop Tart. Just putting himself high just so that he could threaten that and force that air dodge. But then Quick is back in control. Okay, oh, that's gonna nice be the start. though. Good punish from Pop Tart. Bit of a miss from Quick, but the, the German crew are still an entire player ahead. So someone of the German team is gonna have to really drop the ball uh, in order for us to be able to make this comeback. Yep. And that's one thing I really do like about Pop Tart is his positioning, generally speaking. He's really, really good at making sure he's in the right spot to actually get some kind of kill or get some kind of air dodge read. It looks like they're sending in uh, Mr. January from the Smash Europe men's calendar. Look at this guy. I know the jokes get made a lot, but like, I mean, Smash don't no look joke. like that. He's a good looking guy, man. Yeah. He's a, he's a good looking guy. We have Light, the Sheik main from Germany. Uh, fresh off of a decent performance when he went to the 2GG Smash Masters event. Yeah, Actually had a yeah. pretty close set with MK Leia. Yeah. Made it into the final bracket. And I feel like, uh, you know, whenever a European player travels out to the States, it's it's usually in isolation. We never, like, we've only ever sent, like, at max, like, 20 or so people out there. So there's so much pressure to represent your entire Definitely. continent. Definitely, yeah. That I, th I really think to perform in any way under those kind of conditions with that kind of pressure at that kind of event is really impressive. And every time they come away and, like, you know, maybe they don't do as well as we hope, we, we get all these quick longers, but our Europe aren't as good as we say they are. But, like, I really think they are. I really think these are all just isolated incidents. And it's kind of been shown with the American players coming over here. Light has shown that he can hang with the best of them. Let's see if you can hang with Plastic Pop Tart. I don't think I've ever actually seen these two play before, but Pop I can't imagine they've played too often, to be honest. No, Pop Tart for sure is definitely going to have a decent amount of chic experience from himself, playing with uh, both Kipsu and Player J, Player J, DK Ho, Jack J, Hunter, Jack Hunter, the the J Captain Man, Captain JJ, yeah, Captain JJ, uh, J Man from Half Life. Oh my God, is he dead? Is he dead? He's actually dead. Whoa. Wow. And if Anyone's looking like they might be about to bring this back for us, it's Plastic Pop Tart. Yeah, man. Maybe it is coming home. I mean, you said one of the German players might have to uh, drop, the to drop the ball a little bit, but it yeah. might just be Pop Tart playing absolutely fire right now. Absolutely. Rather than anyone making a mistake. Oh, beautiful. Pop Tart's ledge coverage is so good. Okay. He's really just like, 
I've just never known someone to cover options like Pop Tart. I've played Pop Tart quite a lot. I've probably played more sets against Pop Tart than like any UKPR player. And it's like every time I think I've got the answer, and then to quote the Nature Boy Ric Flair, he changes the question. He changes the question, dude. Okay. So Light definitely doing a lot better now after that uh, that early start. That uh, wasn't too I mean, great. Pop Tart's looking pretty ready to take this second stock already. Yeah. It's like all these single hits from Lucina. Oh, oh wow. the nair! That's not even a tipper, that's just the hilt, yeah. right? Another taunt from your mans. Oh, oh okay, he's it. feeling ballsy, I like this. I've never seen this kind of pop yeah, play Tim before. Yeah, Tim played out of his mind right now. He is really just imposing his will on light right now. Like we've said, covering every option. I don't like using the double jump in that situation, but he gets down safety regardless. Wow. And Light's really, rolling really. quite a lot. Yeah, and Pop he's really getting caught off for it. Wow, this is such strong play for Yikes. Pop Tart, man. A lot Jeez. of rolling, a lot of air dodging. Is he just going to take this three stock like that? Or oh, didn't quite react. Oh, but like, okay. both these characters can feasibly kill each other about as easy as the other, right? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, forward air from Light covering the air dodge. Oh, Light gets wow. the bouncing gets fish the right at the edge That's of the stage. That's absolutely fine. Honestly, that is completely fine, yeah. Okay, but I mean, even then, Pop Tart with two pretty fresh stocks right now. Sheik's not looking the uh, the healthiest right now with 140% on the board. You think if Pop Tart could take this without losing the stock, England are definitely back in this with a For vengeance. sure, only five to six, man. There we go, grabs the neutral get up yet again. He's done that before already. He's fiending for an air dodge. And Light is just pushing that R button, man. Yep. Oh, he might re-grab. Yeah, nope. One up throw might do it. That's gonna there do it. Go. Wow. I like that. Pop Tart just poetry, coming out like dude. a house on fire. Absolute poetry. Really, really impressive this play there. Okay, so who are we sending in next? You reckon we're getting your boy Scythe? Or do you think we're getting the longest owl? <laughs> <laughs> we get in the longest owl. Here he goes. It's Here the longest owl Long himself. Long owl. Sustained pain. <laughs> sustained Long pain. owl. <laughs> Going to see if he can try and make England feel the sustained pain of a loss here and hand them their defeat and move into the finals of the crew battle bracket. Taking we'll see on it, dude. France. You might see it. But I maybe, maybe Pop-Tart can wrap him up in some plastic and put him in the toaster because that would make the toaster explode. Which would kill, kill Long Gao. That <laughs> which by Gow technicality would, would die. give England the victory. So therefore, oh look, I'm not advocating for murder, but I am saying that if England are to win this crew battle, we need to pull out Long all the Gow stops. needs to die. He needs to plastic stop tart him right now. Right now. now. So we've got the Rob <laughs> coming out to play. He's, he's going to see if he can rob this crew battle from. Plastic Rob Tart and stop That's good. the toaster from, from burning. From busting. <laughs> I'm actually intrigued Battle by his choice to go Rob here. Rob this matchup is Cloud. pretty not good. Longo has a fox. Pop Tart pretty notoriously dislikes fox. I'm pretty sure he has a Bayo. I'm not sure. I've seen Longo's Bayo today, yeah. Yeah. He has um, a bit of a K pop accession. Okay. That's off topic. Wait, who's this? Uh, Longo? I, I feel like both of them do, right? Uh, no, not really. Just no. thought I'd bring it up. I thought it was interesting. I think... Uh, no, Pop, Pop... Oh, wait, no, it's Matsu who has the K-Pop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, don't know if Pop does. It. So, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued by his choice to go Rob here, but it is the character that is definitely the most well-rehearsed. He picks a very yeah. nice color. I like seeing the cool blue Rob. Cool blue Rob. You know? Too cool for school, in my opinion. Longo is not school. educated. He's too cool for school. He's okay, that would be what's really good. He's a robot. He's a robot. Well, <laughs> too cool for robot school. Gets oh. the bait on the air dodge. He's not going to kill. Really good DI there from Pop Tart. I kind of thought maybe he was waiting for an air dodge to like down air spike him because they were close to the ledge, but he probably would have just ground bounced off yep. the stage. But regardless, I mean, Longo looking to prove me wrong. This, uh, looking to prove me wrong, wrong gal. Wrong gal. This, this Rob pick looking pretty good. I do like Pop Tart's item. Oh. catching it, but yeah, kind oh, of an smash. obvious roll. Yep. And when Rob gets those ledge traps, man, it's so scary. So yeah. scary, because you just like, he just knows what I'm going to do, dude. Yeah, and the, the thing is that like the, the one player that UK have left is Pelly, who uh, is actually one of Rob's better top tier matchups. Sure, right? sure. Because you could use it to project that gyro, spin yeah. dash. 
So really, if Hobzart can like shave off a stock here to try and help out his teammate, then that would be great. Be but Longo could totally oh, clutch it out. He's, he's SD'd. He's That's a oh, shame. Plastic pop tart. Really was robbed. Yeah. Of that one. Really robbed himself. You know. Really? RLB, really, only bad, bad self destructs. Self -destructs. Bad really, self only bad self destructs. All he robbed himself. He did that thing where, like, you're like, "Where's my phone?" And you're looking for your phone. It's been in your hand the whole time. And you're like, "I was the thief. I've wow. deceived myself." Wow. I played myself. I've done that so That's many times. Kind of deep. I've done that. I so mean, many I can't times, say I've, I've been doing it, and it's literally in my hand. Oh yeah, no, I actually have. I've I've been looking for my GameCube controller once, and I was holding it. Wow. I was like, I was like scouring the venue, like, where is my GameCube controller? And then like, I I, I I put it down to look for it. And then like, as I turned around, something clicked. I was like, wait a second. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, just, have I been on. hard? Just one cotton pick a minute. Here we go. Pelly versus Longo. Pelly, the final player representing the UK. He's got a, a I wouldn't say a tall mountain, but a, quite a steep hill. So I hope he's got his hiking boots well, on. Well, he's a robot. Yeah, not well, mountain. Or a hill, actually. I'm talking about Pelly. He's got a steep hill to climb. Yeah, but he's talking to. But it's a robot. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not trying to suggest that Longo is a hill or anything. He's climbing up. I'm saying it's a metaphorical hill. Do you not appreciate? Oh, you absolute cretin! He's climbing up a hill. The metaphorical hill is the challenge he has ahead of him. You never climbed a metaphorical hill in your life? No, you haven't, have you? Clearly not. I, I can't say I have. Well, Pelly's going to show you how it's done. Okay, show me how it's done, Pelly. Show me how to climb up this robot hill. Yeah. Full show of <laughs> full of uh, cogs and twists. Oh god, that's going to be an affair. He's not dead. He actually very nearly died to he, that. He, that's crazy. Yeah, it wasn't great. Pelly, Pelly versus Longo, also in a, a set that I've never really seen before. I remember seeing Longo at Syndicate, the the one that Ken came to. Sure. And he actually had a pretty good performance against Ken. Yeah, I remember time. that actually. Yeah, he played. Didn't he take him game five? No, I think he took a game off him. But okay. like, yeah, it was a pretty good performance. Longo definitely seems remember. fairly comfortable in the Sonic matchup, and you saw the little hurt box shift from Pelly there as he started to spin dash. The gyro went right over him. Pretty unfortunate, but the fact that we only have three stocks left in this crew battle and Pelly's already this bloody on the first of six they yeah, left to take. Yeah, it's not looking great, especially yeah. when you got your man Sive in the back. Uh, it's not looking great. Okay, the forward tilt. Got him off stage. You're going to see a spring, of course. And there's okay. a forward air. Okay, not going to take it, but fine. Another one. Pelly's actually doing a really good job of avoiding these. Oh, okay, never mind. No, he's doing well, a terrible job. Well, okay. He was doing a really good job of uh, avoiding the projectiles, which are really like what Rob does against Sonic, right? Like yeah. as soon as he commits yeah. to a spin dash, he's, he's going to make it shoot him. Yeah. Need a player really biting here. Whoa, Both okay. over a hundred. Up throw from Rob, uh, from Rob will get the stock here. Up throw from Eva Parita. Okay. Nearly getting that, but not enough there. Oh wow, that Nair? The neutral air. Yo. Okay. That's well. kind of dirt. And now they're down to six to two. Oh, I like the idea from Pelly. Actually, nearly got it because yeah. like, there, there's a certain like, play, you know, players have habits when the opponent is on the angel platform. I know when I play Mystic Eyes all the time, I'm always getting on at him for like, just giving up stage control. Because whenever I come down with invincibility, he just goes to the ledge. I think Pelly maybe saw a jump habit. Yep. But uh, he jumps up and kicks him in the face and takes that stock there. Let's okay. hope he makes a habit of that, taking stocks. Yeah, one guy getting some nice percent there. Pelly going for the neutral gal, but even though ledge was there, it's a sour oh, spot. Okay. Okay, you can see here, Longo just happy to chill back a little bit, throw out those projectiles. That's what you gotta do as Rob against Sonic. Yeah, just these projectiles, and whenever Sonic gets close, going for these uh, auto cancel nares, the hitbox is really good against Sonic, and like anything Sonic can do. Because Sonic's, Sonic's range only exists in his speed and his effective range, and not in the size of his hitboxes. Yep, yep, yep. You know, so a nice big kind of cartwheel move like Nair is actually really effective against him, because it's got a lot of active frames. Stays out for a long time. It's like a, it's like a, like an eight-year-old who's just got his new mobile phone. Stays out really long. Stays out for a long I'm time. I'm sure Rob Snare's mum is worried about it. Probably. But at the same time, she's trying to show that she's not too smothering and she's trusting. Well, she can't be. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, if we're talking about smothering, Pelly trying to smother Rob. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Oh no! But he, Longo no, is going to no. rebel. Longo says, no, I am old bro. enough to be out this late. No, you are an eight-year-old child. You have no need for an iPhone four. <laughs> 
<laughs> so England are on their last stock. It's looking pretty grim because we've still got their, their best player waiting in the back. Pelly going to need a stock of miracles here. And then another one after that. And well, then another one after that, yeah. He needs to get rid of this first one. He had him at 170% before he actually took the stock on the first time. So Rock oh. Longo can definitely just take so oh. much percent right now. Longo is really good at covering rolls yeah. from the ledge. He's sick of Because, like, you know, a Rob thing is to kind of up smash at the ledge when you put the gyro down. But he just pivot grabbed that as well. Like, he has, like, a sixth sense for rolls. Someone should show him where the nearest Greg's is. I'm sure he doesn't need to. I, he I, he has a sixth sense. He yeah. can probably just realize on his own. Yeah. I'd love a mate like that. He's just like, stop. It's a Greg's There is five. a Greg's five minutes yeah. away, actually. Wow, well, thanks, Jim. His name is I Jim? I was really hungry. My, my hypothetical friend is named right. Jim. I'm sure Longo's name isn't Jim. I don't think there's too many Jims in Germany. I don't what, his name's like Howl, maybe? I think that's his name. I don't know. Oh, God, he's dead. Well, I think we're going to be wondering how that crew battle slipped away from us so far, and the answer will be quick. It wasn't long. It wasn't very long, was it? And now they, it does they, hurt. they took the scythe to the...